Ladies and gentlemen, on today's show, we have the co-founder and CEO of Razor, Min Liang Tan. Welcome on our show, Min Liang. This is my word out, I think, to a lot of entrepreneurs out there, that sometimes you may have a good idea, but you may be in the wrong place. And it's fine. You know, don't, don't give up, you know, persevere. And, you know, you don't have to do it necessarily in one place or another. And, you know, we left to the US and the rest is kind of history. We've, you know, grown a global company and, and things like that from there. And what I would say, however, is that we have come back, you know, to Singapore. We are building our Southeast Asian headquarters, not very far from here. It's opposite road. Oh, opposite, <laughs> yeah. And, and what we want to do is, you know, privately, I mean, on a personal level, I would love to find offbeat, you know, off the cuff kind of entrepreneurs or ideas that may not necessarily have been welcomed at the start, but we would like to nurture that, make it great, right? And uh, we want to do more in Singapore and hopefully we will be able to do more in Singapore and we're investing very heavily over here. Um, we've got our corporate ventures group trying to invest also in Singaporean entrepreneurs Amazing. Um, and do more. So what does matter is creating great product, you know, pushing ahead, making, making a difference that's what matters at any point of time. And once you kind of figure out for yourself or for, for, the, for the team, this is what matters, then all else kind of falls away. The temporary negative press, the, te- the temporary um, issues of, of unhappiness or the quarrels, all that falls away. And you just go back into your single-minded approach to say, I just want to make phenomenal product. Everybody has a different style. And every company has a different culture. Every manager has a different um, approach to things. So that you will find people who gravitate to cultures where they want, you know, clear instruction, clear direction, um, uh, uh, you know, and, and that's one end of the spectrum. And the other end of the spectrum, there are those who say who crave consensus at any point of time. They, they crave, uh, you know, to be able to do that. So I would say that um, the most important thing is to look at organizations. Are they growing? Um, are they creating great product? Are they creating great services and, and stuff like that? And gravitate to that, okay. right? So, so you're never going to make everyone happy. So if let's say somebody is a great inspirational manager, but always has consensus, you're going to have people who will say, I, 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 I detest this kind of manager. The guy can't make up his mind and stuff like that. But as long as he or she is able to continue to build great product and get it out there, I think that's going to be a great company.